I hate that uh, part of the game. Waste of time chasing around that little century orb. So if you can see, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be in a rush here. What exactly is the Proud Star? How does Wheeljack not know what it is? Let us stay on task. This is what you get for rushing people. Leroy Jenkins. Here we go. Now this is ball busting. Here he goes, speedy. I'm a speedster. Soundwave would be so proud. That's Soundwave's favorite type of character to play. He's going to be on one of our uh, new videos soon as well. So you guys got to meet Shockwave and now you'll get to meet Soundwave, who has also been with me for almost 12 years in this group. Wow, crushed by a hammer. Here we go. Chop. Oh, did I just do a belly flop and kill him as I died? I guess not. What did you guys think of the mech tech abilities? Or uh, the mech tech alive from the uh, live action uh, franchise? Or the uh, stealth force? Uh, gimmick where there is just weapons that would just come out of everywhere on a car like I guess it was they were hidden but I mean they're already robots in disguise so now they're death cars in disguise Optimus's little um, cannon on the roof <laughs> dang it I fell into those things these canisters are fun to destroy, but if you hit them, they'll slow you down. There it is. Oh my god. On the harder difficulty when you're just leveling up, this thing took forever. But with maxed out weapons, it doesn't matter. I like how the uh, enemies just disappear. The they didn't just quit, they just... We have no life, we have no purpose. What is your purpose? You pass the butter. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. All right, let's crush some bugs. And then dive into a mysterious building. Boom! Blinding light. Nothing's cooler than that. Time to finally enter the Proud Star. Here we go, punching crates. You know, uh, I just love, um... I love collecting those little things, even though they're only like 10 points. Uh, I guess that one, those were like 2,000. I forget on this difficulty, it's actually worth it. Note to yourselves, if you play this game, uh, play it on the hardest difficulty. Autobots, welcome to the Proud, to the Proud Star. Star. The thing you've never heard of. Great ship of Nova Prime. It can't be. You mean an Autobot ship is responsible for all the Of course it is. The, the Autobots are always the problem. It appears so, Wheeljack. Ah, uh, why doesn't it show me as Nemesis? The cause the destruction. Another Cybertronian ship. By the way, uh, spoiler alert. Um, there's some pretty big twists at the end of the game. The Colonnade of Cybertron. The Colonnade. Was a covenant between all Cybertronians. 
The colonnade is comprised of the essential aspects of our lost Cybertronian heritage. I'm gonna let this play and just in case. It was placed inside the Pharaoh Taxis. The, the Pharaoh Taxis might be the worst the name the for a artifact. Literally carries our culture inside of it. What an historical find that would be. So much art and beauty and history has been lost to find it again. Oh my gosh, Bumblebee's annoying even in this. The Pharaoh Taxis controls both the Plasma Core and the Insecticons. It directs the power and gives the Insecticons their function and... I love how he suddenly oh, knows all this. In what? Destroy it? Like, how did he not it's put this so together right earlier? We can't do that, can we? Here's the moment where the Autobots no, talk can't. about the we regret. The plasma Core and shut it down. Shutting down the power is the most surefire way to stop the cyber forming. I just noticed and the ridiculous the music. The soundtrack's picture, actually pretty good. Nova Prime intended. But it makes now, the moment feel much more focused. important. There are more floors to this ship. We split up. Really? The plasma core. Thank you, Optimus. And uncover Megatron's plan. He already said it. I like how there's really tiny Insecticons, and these doors are fun, even if you don't make it through. The Matrix itself just blinked off and then back on. There is a darkness here, something that has permeated this place. I feel like they don't. I feel like they don't touch upon this at all, like throughout the entire game. Like, like Bumblebee says right there, that's a really ominous comment that doesn't even get um. Like touched upon. And I think that's like a pretty crucial thing, like, that probably might have, uh, helped the sales better if, I mean, they explained some of this just a little better. Oh, yeah. I remember who I fight next. Reroute all likes and subscribes to this YouTube channel. But, sir, what about the other YouTube? Any further objections? Ram this video straight into the minds of our viewers!